Okay, I promise this one's gonna be short. 1440p, 144 hertz monitor, ultra settings, motion blur off, adaptive quality off. This one is a 13900K CPU, same MSI graphics card. Yeah, it's a messy test bed. Sue me. People, please don't offer stupid advice. I've been testing graphics cards a long time. I've cleaned drivers. These are actually old drivers, so I thought that'd be interesting. This is the launch five, not launch, preview launch 572.02 drivers for the, for the 4090. So, completely different test bed. Oh, look at that. Didn't even make it past that initial launch screen. This doesn't mean it's a driver problem necessarily. It could be the card itself is flaky, but it's still interesting that the flakiness didn't show up in about 20 games that were on Steam and Epic stores, but it did show up in all three of my Ubisoft store games. So, I don't know. It's it's not the drivers. It's really like, okay, it's there aren't newer drivers that fix this. Let's put it that way. I think it's probably firmware and or circuitry on the MSI board. I've underclocked, I've power limited, if, if it's voltage, like I haven't undervolted, but come on, like let's be realistic here. If that's not sufficient, <laughs> I'm not sure what is. And it's not Windows 11 24H2 because I did all of this testing with the 5090 Founders Edition on these same PCs and it didn't have problems. So, the only thing that's in common now is the MSI card is problematic. Whether it's all Supreme Liquid SOCs, or just my particular sample, or some samples, that's something I couldn't tell you. And it might affect other 5090 cards as well. But I did not see this at all with the 5090 Founders Edition. this 5090 founders edition i test hardware that's my job i actually do know what i'm doing so i'm not just some random youtuber who hasn't ever done this before i work for tom's hardware now i've been there five years i was at pc gamer for five years prior to that i was at Alnon tech for 11 years so i've been around the block and we saw this exact same scenario with RTX 4090 cards at launch. Not with the Founders Edition so much, but with the third-party cards that were factory overclocked. I think their board designs and or overclocks and or firmware is causing instabilities in certain cases. Maybe there are things that it would work okay on, but the fact that the 4090 found, 5090 Founders Edition worked says this is not platform specific. It's not operating system specific. It's not driver specific. It is specific to this card. That's it. Thanks. Bye.